I made a bird totem and a baobab and I'm gonna show them to you. Hey guys, today I'd like to talk about these two pieces that I made a while ago. They were both inspired by birds and you'll notice that both of them have beaks. One of the pieces is no longer with me so I thought I'd talk about that one first and it's called Bird Totem. I made Bird Totem in 2012 to use in a shoot with my old band. We were filming this takeaway show in our rehearsal studio and we wanted the studio to look a bit more interesting for the shoot. So I came up with this idea of a large bird totem pole of sorts. I made the torso, the arms, the head, and the beak out of a chicken wire base and then I covered it with paper mache. It was a pretty large piece and I intentionally made these long arms for it because I was inspired by totem poles that I'd seen with wings. I also created this fringe that you could thread onto the arms that would hang down and it was made out of fabric and yarn strips that I braided together and sewed into different constellations. And I also braided these necklaces out of yarn to hang around its neck. I painted it in acrylic paint and I went with white, red, and black and then some gold for the beak. Then I sewed it a big yellow skirt with a drawstring waist because my plan was to prop the torso up on something tall and then drape the skirt down over it to hide whatever it was standing on to give it height. Then I cut some holes in the eyes where light bulbs could be inserted because I figured that would look really cool during the shoot because I knew we were going to have a dimly lit space and having those glowing eyes sort of in the background would add a pretty cool effect. And if you're gonna have glowing eyes, you might as well have glowing red eyes. I don't remember how we got the piece to the rehearsal space, but I can't imagine we took it on the New York subway, and I think I would have remembered that. So we must have cabbed it, and we probably had the back windows rolled down and wedged it into the back seat with one arm sticking out of each window. <laughs> At the space, we propped it up on this tall speaker that we weren't using, and then I covered the speaker with the yellow skirt. It turned out pretty cool. In fact, we liked it so much that we even incorporated it into a few of our live shows, but it was sort of short-lived because it was so wonky to get it to and from the venues. And at some point, one of the arms broke off and now I'm not quite sure where this piece is. I still have the necklaces to remember it by and I think I have that arm fringy stuff laying around somewhere too. Thanks for all the good times, bird totem. You were awesome. The other piece I'd like to show you today is this. This is Baobab. Baobab is another kind of bird, also made out of paper mache and a chicken wire base, but he has arms and hands out of satin evening gloves. Baobab is actually European. I made him in Sweden in preparation for some gigs that my old band was playing in Vienna in Austria. I wanted something fun and unique to bring with me on stage for those gigs, and I got this idea for a bird baby with glowing eyes that would sit on my hip and have its arms around my neck while I sang. One of the many cool things about paper mache is how accessible it is. You can get the supplies you need together almost anywhere. For Baobab, I quickly threw together a sketch in my head of what supplies I would need, and then I went to the local hardware store and I got some chicken wire, I got an LED light bulb, and I got one of those lamp cords that has a plug on one end and an opening for a light bulb on the other end. Then just using my hands and some pliers, I shaped the chicken wire into the mold that I needed, and I inserted the lamp cord and the LED light bulb into the mold and fastened it in there, and then I cut two holes for the eyes. For the arms and hands, as I mentioned, I used these old satin evening gloves that used to be mine, and I think I'd worn them to some school dance or something back in the day, and I dug them up in one of the old boxes I'd left behind in Sweden, because this was at my parents' place, and I figured I could put them to good use. I found an old pillow that I cut open and took some of the stuffing out, and then I stuffed the gloves with that to give the arms and hands some definition. I made my own paper mache paste using a really simple recipe of just regular flour, water, and some salt, and then all I needed for the actual paper mache was some old newspaper. When it was all dry, I painted it in colors very similar to Bird Totem. I went with the white, the red, the black, and the gold. I also gave him this gilded wreath around his head, which I think I made out of some kind of repurposed autumn decoration, and I just attached it with super glue. Baobab was definitely a hit at the shows. Now, why the name Baobab? Well, as some of you may know, a baobab is a type of tree, and baobabs are prominently featured in the book The Little Prince by Antoine de Saint-Exupéry. And I was reading that book while I was making this piece, 
and somehow the name just felt fitting. So I called him Baobab. And that's something I made. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit a thumbs up and leave a comment below. And why not hit subscribe? I'll see you next week. Bye.